Hello, everyone. I was talking to someone as I came in the hall about the bounty of his life, and he said it couldn't have been imagined. And what a what a true statement. The true bounty cannot be imagined. And in fact, our only obstacle to the true bounty is trying to imagine what it may be. <laughs> because then we fixate on that and we, we don't even notice what's here. And what's passing us by, what's uh, revealing itself to us. So in these retreats, and in this weekend retreat in particular, I really invite you to stop imagining what it is you need to get fixed, or what obstacle you need to get rid of, or what, how you need to get deeper, or how you need to be awake, 100% of the time. Just all of that is still within the realm of imagining a problem. Imagining that there, there are certain uh, benchmark measurements. And that problems do appear in lives and there are measurements in lives. But for our weekend, if you will engage in an experiment an investigation of really, really just immediately being at home. That's sort of, that is heresy today. It's called the spiritual bypass. And it's, <laughs> it's heresy. You're not allowed to take the bypass. You have to go into the garbage dump and you have to dig through or you have to go through the, the ancestry. But I'm here to tell you, you are allowed to take the bypass. <laughs> and you're free to go digging wherever you'd like to go. But you aren't required to. You can go immediately home because, because home is where you are. It's what is always here. Now, if what gets talked about in the spiritual bypass is an imitation of home, well, that's an imitation. That's not home. That's still actually, that's not a spiritual bypass. That's, a, that's faking it. And you're allowed to fake it. Well, I don't recommend it, but you're allowed yeah. to fake it. You are free, in other words. You're free to dig in your psychological process and you're free to go immediately, be immediately at home. So for this weekend, I invite you to, to be at home. And if there is an obstacle that appears, I invite you to investigate. Is it real or is it imaginary? Is it something I have told myself and put myself into a kind of trance, believing it? And if you investigate what is here, you will see that. It is big enough to include all trances, and it's free of all trances. And that's the point of our meeting. That's the point of this weekend. You're not here to learn how to fix something, even how to overcome obstacles. Maybe especially you're not here to learn how to overcome obstacles. You're here to discover what is always here. You're here to discover yourself. And there is, in truth, no obstacle between you and yourself. The obstacles are only in imagination. And imagination, as we know, is really powerful, terrifying, beautiful. But when we want the truth, we have to be willing to not imagine anything. At least for investigation, not as dogma, not because it's Advaita Vedanta, or because Ramana said it, or Papaji said it, or Gangaji said it. No, that's not it. It's for your own investigation. So you can discover at the root 
what is here, unimaginably, unthinkably, and, and undeniably. Because in order for your discovery to have the potency of truth, it has to be undeniable, doubtless, obvious. Otherwise, the tide of imagination, the momentum of imagination comes to reclaim it, reformulate it, re rehatch a past and a future. Okay? It's pretty simple. <laughs> really? It's so good to see you. It's so great to be in this room. Some of the early satsangs happened in this room. Bringing Papaji's message back that there is nothing you have to do to be free. It was shocking. It is still shocking if you <laughs> let it in. Because all of our conditioning is that we have to do something to get something. So to get relative political freedom, yes, there's a lot that has to be done. But the freedom of yourself, of the truth, it's already here. 